Hi friends, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Martina and in today's video I would love to invite you guys to join me for a craft therapy video. We haven't had one in, I feel like, quite some time, maybe even in a month, um, but today I really just felt like I needed a nice relaxing craft therapy um, being just if you are new here this <clears throat> this series of videos is all about just being creative just for the joy of it so without overthinking without stressing about anything without even sometimes without completing a project this is just about doing something uh something creative and today's video is going to be uh, a very exciting collaboration between me and taperlogy which is an online store a beautiful store which offers such stunning crafting um crafty crafty things uh and um, the owner of the shop very kindly reached out to me and asked if i wanted to collaborate with them so that they would send me a pack of their goodies and i would just share with them with you guys review them uh share my thoughts and so of course i said yes i i am so grateful for this and so excited um as you guys can see this is still packed i have not unpacked this yet so we are going to uh, to do it together and then I will probably just use uh, some of the things that we will find here in maybe in my journal or maybe in a project uh, so I hope you are excited maybe grab yourself something warm to drink uh, maybe a project you would like to work on and let's get started just before I unpack this uh, which I just can't wait it was the hardest things you guys to um, stop myself from unpacking unboxing this uh, before I was ready to film this video but I did it so <laughs> before I do I just want to mention a few things so everything that you see here everything that I got from Taperlogy you guys will find links to uh, in the description box for those project products uh, there will be links for specific products they will there will also be like one combined link for like my storefront on their website where you will be able to see all of these things together um, these links are affiliate links which means uh, that if you buy a thing using my link um, i will get a small commission from your purchase at no additional cost for you so this is this is a way to to support me and my channel and um in advance thank you so much for using my links and also uh, taperlogy very very kindly provided a coupon code for you guys for my viewers for my audience you will also find it in the description box uh, and also the instruction what to do with it so yeah everything should be in the description box and i'm just i'm just so excited so let's let's get to it and let's see what's inside Here we have the box and the cute sticker. Uh, I'm finally home. And this is the little logo, Taperlogy, Dream, Create, Record, which is just perfect because this is, this is what I do here. And I think this is what a lot of us in this community do. So I'm going to try to, okay try to open this up and let's see inside maybe move my tea a little bit oh look at all of this you guys look at all of this i don't even know where, where to start so what do we have here uh we have happy holidays so there is a coupon code here as well um, but you guys will have my coupon code in the description so um, and a beautiful, beautiful wax seal. This is what it looks like. I love it. I'm definitely going to add it to my 
to my journal and a cute little card with some journaling space on the back. Okay. Oh, where do I start? Um, alrighty, let's see here. Uh, so he, this one says scattered fragment. Let's see. Inside. Okay, I'm going to keep all of the plastic packaging. So you guys know that I really like to keep all of these and reuse them for uh, for other things. So we have a nice vellum bag here, which I hope I can open somehow. Maybe I need to cut it. Oh, probably. Oh, okay. Um, obviously this was the opening, but that's okay. Um, I really like those stick the sticker guys. So inside here we have all of these super cute like labels. Are these stickers? Let's see. I think they are. Yes. So these are stickers, which is perfect. I love stickers. They are so quick to use. You don't need to use any additional adhesive and they are so just convenient <laughs> to use. love the colors, like muted purples and blues. Be the best version of you. And I think we have two, yes, two per, um, per pattern, two per kind, whatever. <laughs> Two of each and in any case. Oh, I love them. I love ephemera like this. I use it a lot in collaging, in layering, collage master boards or just journaling pages, just adding some interest. Oh, this is so cool. So this is awesome. I love these. I'm going to, I am going to keep them uh, on the side here. Okay, and this I'm definitely going to reuse in one of my journals. Let's see what's next. This is interesting. This is something soft. Let's see. How do I open this? I think this way. Okay. Oh. I think this is a piece of fabric, very beautiful. I think it's linen maybe, but it's gorgeous. It's really, so what do we have here? Let's see. So we have this, oh, I think because uh, Florence, the owner uh, of Typerology, uh, when she contacted me on uh, like via email, she also mentioned that they have a new product, which is, uh, rub on stickers that you can use on fabric. So I'm so happy that I get the fabric because I think those rub on stickers are here somewhere. So we will be testing it out. Also, this is just a, such a beautiful piece of fabric, uh, very vintagey looking, uh, perfect for like tip ins or stuff like that. This one I'm also going to say for my junk journal stuff. What else? Oh, laces. A pack full of laces. Look at this beautiful assortment, you guys. We have, I think those are like shorter pieces, just perfect for adding for like collages or to tags. And look, we have pinks and some vintage colors. And so I, oh, this one is so pretty. I love it so much. I'm always, I'm always looking for new like lace packs, assortments of different laces. Oh, <laughs> look at this cute one. This is so sweet. And we have a nice black one. Oh, I have this one. I love it so much. This is so beautiful. This I am really excited about. Really excited. I think for now I will keep it in. Oh, and look, the bag actually has some snowflakes. So cute. So I will keep it here so that I don't lose it. Okay, then we have Zodiac Signs Atlas Disc Engraving Series. Um, does it say anything else? Not in English, so let's, let's see. 
can we have? Are these stickers or ephemera pieces? Let me check. Let me check. Um, I feel like they they are stickers. Yes. Yes, they are they? Yes, they are. Ooh, and they are very sticky, which is great. So these are circles. I love them. I think I'm going to uh, set them aside. Ooh, this is so cool. Like some sky charts, something like this, some vintage um, astronomy like images, which I love. I'm definitely going to set it aside for when I make uh, another Stargazer collection. I love these. They're going to be to be so great for um, for like uh, page decoration or tax spots or even um, just part of collaging. Really, really pretty. So astronomy theme, always welcomed. What else? Oh, I can see labels, you guys. I can see labels. Oh, how much you get. Wow, look at all of these. Look at all of these. Now, let's see if these are stickers. Or just if I'm... Yeah, they are stickers too, I think. Um, and they are so pretty. I think I had a pack uh, like that. I, I remember this. Um, I got it from somewhere else. But these were like my favorite labels ever. So I'm probably out of them already. But I love them. They have very pretty colors, very vintagey. Um, they are um, white, but I also find that whenever I don't need them to be so like stock white, I want them to be a little bit more muted. Now, I just use my um, my blending tool for for when I'm inking with vintage photo, and I just go over them, and it gives them a little like distressing but do you guys see how much there are in this pack this is incredible i love them so much oh so, there's so many of them this is i'm so excited about this i love using labels um like this to add maybe little journaling spots maybe when i am journaling and i want to uh, journal to kind of like journal about something else um, i will put a label and have a little story uh, on the label or for quotes or for uh, dating the entry the journal entry or just for decoration to be honest because i just love the look of a nice vintagey label <laughs> so yeah awesome you just get so many of them and i don't know uh, if there are doubles of or if all of them are um like original um shapes and and patterns but this is incredible i'm so excited about this okay feels like christmas came early <laughs> this year let's see what else we have i think i'm going to use my scissors here this is a cute sticker i think i'm going to to leave it for uh, for my journal so let's see what we have i think this is kind of like a washi tape um, but it's transparent, like a cello tape with some white patterns. Let's see, I'm trying to find the opening here. All right. Oh, okay. Okay, what is this? Let's see. Is this a tape? Or is this um, just more like... I think it, it has to be a tape, though. Mm, can I... Peel off the backing here. Okay, I'm going to just cut out this first piece because it has glue all over from the tape um, that it was um, kind of kept close with. Okay, I need to... Yeah, okay, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is tape. It's just not easy to...
peel off. Oh, this is taking me so long. Sorry, you guys. And I need to keep it. <laughs> I need to keep it close to my face. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Okay, I need a small piece of this. Um, I think it would be so cool if it was in fact a tape. Yes, okay. <laughs> it took a while, but the backing comes off and it is a tape. And I think because it is transparent, I think it would look great if we put it on something darker. Like I'm just looking around to see if uh, maybe I have something something darker here okay let's let's go with this yes I really like the pattern so the pattern here is feathers and some like cursive writing and it's it's really beautiful sorry if you can see hope the glare isn't too much but it's so pretty I've never had anything like that I'm excited to use it again I feel like this would work so well I think I'm going to use some washi tape to keep it close. Uh, I think it would work so well as um, as um, like a layering piece in your collaging, you know, because um, it's transparent, so you would still see something that you put uh, behind it um, when you are collaging. So you would, not, you would not cover everything up, but it will add a different texture. I'm really excited to try it out. Alrighty, let's see, let's see. Here we have, this one says, Blue Foam Ocean Looking for Butterfly Series. So let's see, I think these are die cuts. Oh, and I think I have two packs in two different colors, so let's and pack them at the same time. Oops. Okay. I love those vellum pockets. Definitely going to repurpose them. And here, ooh, these are so pretty. These are so pretty. And so delicate and so like yeah, so if you don't have a die cutting machine and a very complicated die like this one, which I certainly do not have, uh, this is just perfect because it's pretty, it's already cut for you, it's ready to be used. Very beautiful. So we have shades of blue and in this other one, evening fragrance. Oh, this is pretty as well. Uh, in this uh, other one, we have, we have this beautiful creamy yellow. Oh, look at those patterns. They are so complicated. Very beautiful. Then we have, then we have this one, pink. Oh, wow. And look at this one. I think there is still a piece of the dye yeah, left here. But wow, this one is very tiny, the pattern and all of this tiny, these tiny little elements. Oh, and this is one, like, it, it looks a little bit like it was a person, like it was maybe a fairy with those wings. At least it looks like that for to me. <laughs> so this is beautiful. I love this color set and the blue ones of course okay. mm -hmm. then let's see we have some some stickers which I love if you guys know me you know I love stickers and does it say how many there are? No, it doesn't. It probably does in the, it will be in the link uh, to this product. But look at how many, and I didn't even pull out all of them. So we have birds, but mostly plants and flowers, and they are so, so beautiful. We are definitely going to be using these today. Oh, wow. So pretty. And these are 
kind of like washi stickers or like transparent stickers but on a matte paper um, which I think is great hmm, there's an owl I love this pack okay so this is a pack of stickers and I think that this here is also a pack of stickers and these are all butterflies of all different shapes and colors and also just look at this oops just look at this packaging um, it's also so pretty perfect to repurpose so look at how many butterflies we have all of the different colors really pretty some of them freak me out a little bit <laughs> you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of butterflies unfortunately uh, I'm a little bit scared of them if they look too uh, real to me but for instance uh, this one is so beautiful I don't have butterflies like this where I live so definitely I'm definitely not scared of this one <laughs> but they are really really pretty if you love butterflies you get so many here and they seem like a really good quality print too so we will we will test out this is the same material as the flower ones so we will definitely be be using some of those what else do we have then we have this one says dream collector 20 pieces pet bottle collage card it says and, oh this is interesting so these are like acetate or are there stickers too because now now I don't know what's a sticker and what but I don't think this one is a sticker I think these are like acetate oh, and they would be so nice to like layer with some other pieces and maybe put on a collaged background of a journaling card wow that could be that could be really nice so we have this are they all the same no I think then we have this one. Oh, sorry for the glare but look at how gorgeous uh, a flower would look inside so this is this is this one we have a gorgeous cute mason jar these are super fun I'm definitely I definitely want to try to do something with them not today perhaps uh, but you guys can expect a video probably soon um, using using these they are so fun you can do so many things or how about like a shaker pocket you know you put it on some background I would probably stitch it with sewing machine or or use I would have to think about what adhesive to use with this um, but then you know add some se sequins or something like that behind and you have the cutest little shaker pocket I love it can really get creative with these then we have some more stickers which I am just so happy just so happy about and these are called dream flowers oh, look at the back in here very pretty just a gorgeous journaling card just cover the front with something and you have wow and these are amazing look at the art style on these they are really pretty definitely would love to look at this definitely would love to would love to use them for uh, for something and see how they look oh super pretty see how they look on a page oh i'm so excited about all of these new stickers okay then we have i think some more <gasps> wow what what are these are these like huge full page stickers <gasps> look at those they look like they they look precisely like flowers like dried flowers oh my god and they are so big let's see let's pull a couple of them out let's see if this one says we have dried flowers um, tip
Mm, I think you get six in a pack and look at look at them. Mm, wow. Just imagine this on like a the edge of a journal page and it's just it's just such a stunning decoration. And so I have those and they 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 literally look like real dried flowers or pressed flowers. They are so pretty, wow. I've never seen um, stickers this big. I think they are stickers, okay. I'm pretty sure they are though, um, but let's see. Yes, they are. So those huge stickers. And then we have those like um, eucalyptus leaves and some ferns. Oh, wow, perfect for like a forest themed journal. And then some um, like hydrangeas maybe, or some really pretty flowers here. Oh, I'm excited for those, very excited for those. Um, okay, going to take a sip of water. So today's video is like an introduction to all of this, to typology, um, but you guys will see me using these things a lot in the upcoming videos, I think. So. Oh, I love the sticker. It says Aroma, the life in pink blooms, the life in pink blooms like flowers. So can I make sure I don't destroy this beautiful sticker? Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. What is this? What is this? Oh, wow. Look. Look at this, you guys. Look at all of this stuff. So this is like a, an ephemera pack and these are some of my favorite products, to be honest, because in just one pack, you get so much. You get everything that you need for a long time for as many projects as you want. So we have some of my favorite faux postage stamp stickers. We have some ephemera pieces, labels, some collaging decorations. We have some like faux tickets or tea cards in different colors and all of them just correspond with each other so well. So probably if I was um, like if I was making an order, I would definitely include one of these. And I'm sure that they have many kind of like variations of these ephemera packs uh, because th they just provide you with everything that you need. These are stickers and I love them from like old gardening magazines. Uh, some washi stickers here. They are so beautiful. I would definitely like to try using them today. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. And then smaller stickers. Very beautiful. And everything is just so lovely, vintagey. Here are some ephemera pieces. Some more ephemera pieces. And you have some bigger uh, ones and some smaller ones. Oh, and some like scanned uh, doilies, which I love. I love this idea really pretty like that then what else do we have here then we have some twine which i love <laughs> so it even provides you with twine for tags and some more ephemera pieces i love these perfect for collaging you just add this and a couple of scraps and you have a beautiful like collaged piece journaling card something like this and then you have those larger papers and these would be perfect to turn into journaling cards if you just add uh, something to the back maybe just a tea stained paper although this is quite nice um, it's still quite flimsy so you can easily use it to uh, for for collaging for layers in, in your collaging this one is my favorite i think and look how fun with the um, like they look like they've been coffee stained or tea stained. Some music, which is always handy. Some more tiny ephemera pieces. Very old music. And so of course my camera cut, cut me out and I don't know when, so I apologize about that. But I was just looking at all of those tickets and then not sure if 
you guys saw these ones uh, but there's so much here like i said there has to be i think over a hundred elements in just this one pack this is incredible i think it's upside down and these are so neat wow i love them no ephemera pieces but with already you have a label and you can add some journaling to it then these beautiful tickets and they are i think perforated no but they are kind of dented so you can easily just tear them apart i love faux tickets and faux postage stamps these are so beautiful and obviously i love flowers so you guys know <laughs> And then um, you get some larger papers and just look at this. Isn't it just so beautiful? And this one too. Wow, I love I love the layering. I love the, the colors, the patterns. And then we have then we have the uh, sorry, I, I just I'm, I'm looking at it in wonderment. So <laughs> um, we have some vellum pieces, very beautiful, and this one, a little snowy one, gorgeous, gorgeous, you guys. I'm very excited to play with all of this. <laughs> okay, next, uh, next thing. Yeah, maybe let's go with this. Let's see. Let's see what we have. So this one, uh, does it say anything? No. But oh, no. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Um, I thought I could not be more amazed. But look at this, you guys. So this is an assortment of, I don't know how many. Um, but definitely it will be in the, the description of the product. But of... Um, papers and fabrics and so can I move it a little bit up oh okay or just open it this is so cool keeping it for my junk journal as well but we have this which I've seen some people use something similar to this one and I just always thought we have more than one sheet it's so beautiful it's almost like transparent and especially for winter season with all of those specks of white it's maybe gesso or maybe some texture paste i love them and i think you can get them on on the typology website oh look at this shiny one <laughs> i think you can get them on the typology website in some other uh, color color schemes oh this net netting is it netting uh, but they are so perfect to add a little bit of texture you you can just tear or cut a small piece of it add it to your collaging and you have added some texture in such a simple way and it's so effective you guys a little thing like that really can make a huge difference i love them i have to say i love them uh, okay then we have this one wow it's so beautiful so these are like fabrics something like that this one is so, well, just for adding texture you guys so i think today i think today i am going to just do some journaling in my junk journal um or in my yeah in my daphne's diary journal maybe with these oh wow this, uh, this is i think like a handmade paper the texture is incredible it textured on this side um but it feels a little bit like fabric I think I think it's paper though um, so I think in the next episode I will have to I will I, I won't be able to stop myself from um, making a few uh, collage master boards with some of those elements to show you guys how I would use them and oh, mm, this is incredible yeah, like if you've watched my channel for any amount of time you guys know how much I love texture how much i love textured project projects and adding texture to my projects in what oh, this is can you hear the sound of it 
it's incredible. Um, just adding texture to my projects with whatever, whatever I can. I wish I could, I wish you guys could touch it like I can. This is so pretty, so pretty. Then we have this. Wow. Like all of it is just, if you love texture as much as I, this is like paradise because, oh, and look how many you get. It's incredible. Oh, this is, this is really nice. <clears throat> this is a nice piece of paper. What is this? <gasps> look at this. This is like some fibers or some twine and it has those holes and oh the texture <laughs> my second name should be uh, or my middle name should be texture wow and i can just imagine you know just tearing a little bit just tearing a little piece and just adding it uh, to your project really pretty and this one also, oh, I don't think the camera is picking up, um, but there is some, some very light texture here. Wow, uh, I love it. I, um, I think if I had to choose my favorites so far uh, from this haul, which everything is just so beautiful, uh, but this, because you get so much in one pack, then the ephemera pack that I shared with you guys, these are just incredible and I've never seen uh, stickers that big with such like good quality image and also I'm just a sucker for a nice lace pack so and maybe those stickers you know all of those <laughs> okay I don't know if I can pick a favorite so maybe let's let's move on um, and this I can already see this but let's let's keep going like that okay so these are also some textured pieces can i tear them yes you can tear them so again i would probably use them as um as texture uh, to my project look at this this is really pretty and it feels it feels like it has a texture of a very thin like handmade cotton paper something like that but this is really beautiful wow and again because it's so like almost transparent it's great for layering you can have like a collaged bit underneath it you add a little bit of it you still see the paper speaking through um, um, through it and um, and it's just it just adds such a such an incredible touch so this is the same pattern and then we have this one wow i am amazed at all of those things i am amazed at how well um kind of how well crafted this pack is to my needs and to my crafting style and I'm just so grateful for every single thing in it. And this, okay, so these are ribbons and this feels so thick, you guys. So I think you get a lot. Let's see. Instructions for ribbon stickers. Cut out your desired sticker, remove the backing, place the sticker on your desired surface, carefully rub over the sticker with a hard solid object. And I love that they include this. Um, I, I always have a trouble with what to put my, my ribbons onto my surface. And then carefully remove the protective foil layer on top of the sticker once the sticker has been firmly applied. These stickers can be used on any smooth surfaces that is plastic fabric wood metal and glass plastic fabric so okay so we are going to uh in try them on on this piece of fabric mm, it will not work on surfaces such as silicone latex as well as matte surfaces and these stickers are not washable and cannot be laundered 
they are water resistant but not waterproof okay let's see i think maybe it's time to move this box out of the way let's see i'm so excited about this So, oh, but these again, these look like real flower specimens, like clear, real, um, just dried flowers or plants. I love them. And I love how small they are. I love tiny little rabbon stickers to place in any like free spot on my, or empty spot on my journal page. Love them. <gasps> I don't know. They feel good quality. I don't know much about Rabon stickers. Uh, I've only used them a couple of times before. But from what I can see now, first of all, the print is really good quality. They are very like sharp in focus, um, vibrant. And also I just love how small they are. And some autumn leaves. Love it for some uh, fall documenting and again those tiny little ones and some beautiful flowers wow so we have one two three four five six sheets of wrap on stickers and you guys before we get to to, uh, to do any journaling i just have to try it on a piece of this fabric that was included in uh, in this package i hope i will not destroy it so I'm going to just take the first one here and so cut it out. Remove the backing and okay, I need a um, flat surface. Remove the backing, place it. Well, if this works, you guys, well, I know it will work. It just, the, the question is if I am going to do it correctly. Um, but if, if I am, if it works, it's going to be stunning. It's going to be one of my new favorite crafty things ever. <laughs> because I never thought of using rabbons on fabric. Also, this fabric is just so pretty. I love it. Okay, let's see. This tiny piece, is it working? Oh my goodness, it is working. It's not like I uh, doubt it, you know, but it's just, I never thought of it. So I just want to be careful, make sure I go all over this. And let's see. Wow, it actually worked. It actually worked beautifully. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. I have fabric with a beautiful flower on it. Oh, wow. I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just speechless, just admiring. Like, okay. And so what I would do, I would probably um, maybe cut it here and here and then fray the edges a little bit am i just removing some of those twines maybe even a little bit more it's so beautiful it is so and so look how many embellishments like this you can make because even if you take like the the more most usual leaf uh if you add it on a piece of fabric it's going to be just so beautiful and interesting i love this idea so much and i've never seen it done before so uh before before uh, coming across it in like with tape, paralogy. Okay. All right. Look at this, you guys. This has to be like a star of this video. This little embellishment made with a wrap on. Um, 
on a piece of fabric. Okay, you guys, so the whole part of this video is already uh, is done and I know it was long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely did. It, it just made me so happy and it couldn't have come at a better place uh, or a better time, to be quite honest with you. So, I have my journal here and I think... Oops. Uh, knocked my lamp. Uh, I think I'm just going to make like a, a simple oh, some Daphne's diary images to use at a later day. I think I'm just going to do like a simple uh, spread in this journal. By the way, this journal we made together. Uh, so I will have the link to it in the description as well. Um, oh yeah, so just um, just as a, like a last reminder, everything that I have from Taperology uh, is linked in the description box. These are affiliate links. So by using them, if you want to purchase something, um, by buying uh, using my links you support me and my channel and my creative journey so thank you so much in advance and uh, yeah if you have any questions or mm, anything that uh, you're not sure how to use or maybe I didn't include in the description box uh, then let me know in the comments please now I can't wait longer <laughs> I just have to do something with these with these stunning uh, pieces and look at how gorgeous this looks. Okay, so let me see. This would look so pretty just here, just as a little, little embellishment. Okay, let's see what I would like to try to use here. Actually, I love this page because we have some similar colors. Uh, so this is not going to be like a very in-depth, um, very in-depth review of every single item right now because we we already don't have time for this. But I would love to I would love to do something with you guys. So okay, do I have some? Yeah. Uh, so I think I'm just going to staple this here. It's going to be just a simple page in this journal okay hmm. oh, I love it I love it I love it uh, so let's see let's see mm -hmm. I love this um, this page because we we do indeed have a lot of similar colors uh, in the products that I received and so how about if I maybe add a butterfly or or two so like I said uh, you are definitely going to be able to see more maybe on this page but what I would do so I would add a little bit of collaging. So let's use some of those ephemera pieces from, um, from the big ephemera pack. First as, as just some, some background. So I definitely want to use um, some of those more vintage ones. This one or this one. And then... Oh, Maybe some of this text. It's really lovely. Maybe this we will see. I love this one too. So yeah, like I said, I'm I'm definitely going to be working with those uh, products uh, over the next uh, few videos. Um, so you guys will see more if you are curious. Um, about my like my opinion on, on any specific um, product out of these uh, then absolutely you know let me know um, and I will let you know <laughs> okay so I just want to add a little bit of of interest here with some of those some of those elements and some of them I am, I am going to tear the edges off and some I'm just going to leave them as they are. Mm. 
I love this text, so maybe, maybe just a bit of this. Already we have we have an interesting piece here. How about I tear the top off here and I kind of slide it like this? Mm -hmm. I like how it looks. Okay, so for now let's let's try. Oh, I got knocked my lamp. Um, can I? No, but I think I will leave this one for my actual junk journal. So this, Daphne, this is also a junk journal, obviously. Uh, but what I use this uh, particular journal for, this Daphne's Diary journal, is for collaging and not memory keeping. So this is more like my version of an art journal, um, but just I don't use mixed media in it. Um, I just use paper and fabric and things like that um, so this this is yeah my version of an art journal and the paperback junk journal that you guys saw me use and um, that you guys saw me use in in the past couple of videos and that's actually for memory keeping so I use it I use it this way thinking something something like that mm -hmm. um, so for this I, I would like to use glue stick and so I am saving some of this packaging and the note that came from typology and this wax seal to actually use in my a memory keeping journal so yeah like I said this could not have come at a better moment because um, I hope you guys are all right and I hope I hope you are having um, a good week or like it's Monday so <laughs> I hope you had a wonderful weekend um, and the last week I I, I, mine was a little bit difficult uh, with anxiety, which I talked about in um, in a couple of videos. But also last week we've had a really big scare with uh, maybe you guys heard with some bombings on the Polish-Ukrainian border, which scared me so so much and uh, nothing happened to me or my loved ones which I am so grateful for it's not that close to us we are not close to the border uh, but you know first of all it's heartbreaking when something like this happens and second of all it just shows you how close this war really is to us and I don't like I, I don't have trust in um, the government of my country and like I don't know what they are going to do so this is a scary part the unknown the when you don't just don't know what's going to happen so this freaked me out a lot uh, okay so I think I would like to try some of those let's see We have this one or this maybe this one this is like almost a perfect color of the flowers here i also have this pink one maybe the pink one actually yeah i think i'm going to go with pink um oops i need to figure out how to store these uh, so there is this and maybe maybe a little bit of this or do I have something more vintage here in this perhaps this is just so so perfect I love it oh yeah and we also have I also have these beautiful ones. So let's see what we can 
what we can do here with those so that I can show you guys how I would use them. Can I tear this or should I maybe cut it? Oh, actually, I think I can tear it and it will give me a little bit more of a of an uneven edge like this, which I like. And so, for instance, here, and look at this, you guys. Isn't it just, like, it? it's not much, technically, because... Now, do I have some wet glue here? Um, because it doesn't take much space and it doesn't cover anything. But... But it does add a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm just looking. I don't remember if I finished my last my last wet glue okay i think i will just take a new one <clears throat> and so what i would do is i would use this type of glue to glue this down okay And add just a little bit here and there. Also, this glue dries clear, um, so I could just smoosh it over with my finger over the um, over my page where I want to put this piece. Um, glue it down, and then it would dry clear. Um, also. Uh, you could use a stapler and a staple should be able to hold it maybe a couple of staples <laughs> should be able to hold it well so yeah so i apologize there hasn't been uh, there haven't been that many videos lately um like i said i think recently i would love to uh, have two videos per week whenever possible on YouTube and then at least one additional over on Patreon. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it's just not possible and I am trying to I'm trying to be okay with with me just just taking taking things slow sometimes, you know. Taking things slow and just Okay, I love it. Uh, now, I also have a piece of this, which perhaps I could... I love those threads here. Maybe use like, like here. Oh yes, I do like it. And so for this, I think maybe glue stick here. The glue stick is obviously clear too, so... When it dries, it should not be visible. Very pretty. Now I'm wondering actually if I want the butterfly as my focal point. Where are these butterflies here? Uh, or if I... Um, it does look nice. Or if I would uh, choose Uh, maybe a flower sticker something like this but still i think we can use some of those smaller ephemera pieces from this pack and add a little bit more interest maybe with three like that so like I said, I really think that an ephemera pack like this, uh, like the one that I shared with you guys from Typology, it just, like it provides everything you may need for, uh, for a nice collaging project. So I really like, like packs like that. I like having them, using them. And also the elements are usually uh, just really well coordinated with each other great 
when you want to have a cohesive collage or project. Okay, this glue is running wild. I have to cap it or put a cap on it as soon as I'm done with it because it's going away. <laughs> Alrighty. We love this little collage. Very vintagey with a touch of uh, pink. Now, let's see if actually if maybe I can use one of those as a sort of like like a focal point. We could have um, a plant. But I'm thinking maybe a flower. Those or this other one, um, this other pack with a different style of stickers, actually. Yeah, actually think this might look really fun. But you know what? Uh, okay, I know what I'm going to do, I think. So with, um, with stickers like that, you obviously are going to see the background, right? Which, you know, in most cases is fine. But sometimes, maybe, you don't want to see the background because it looks quite dark. But I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I would have to find... Of just white paper. If I have any, printer paper is in the other room and I don't I don't feel like going there right now so I think I'm just going to okay I'm just going to use a bag of some paper pad I'm not going to take a large amount anyway so what I want to try is I want to Stick it to white background. See how much more uh, vibrant this sticker now is. And then I would like to just cut around it and use this as my focal point. Okay, so I would go like that. Can you hear Zuzia barking in the background? I think she's trying to. This is uh, this is the bark when she's trying to. Um, she wants Derek to pay attention to her, basically, because she's in a room with him, but he's working. He's working from home, uh, so she, so he's obviously busy working, uh, and uh, yeah. She doesn't like it when you don't pay attention to her for too long. So I think I'm going to, when I'm finished with this video, I'm just going to um, play with her and then edit it and upload it. <laughs> because she won't have it any other way, basically. Okay, oh, this is so pretty. I, oh, I love it so much. So this is a good tip. Um, Sometimes I really want the background uh, of the sticker because it makes the sticker just blend in so much better. Uh, but sometimes, you know, a white background uh, is, is all it needs to be a beautiful focal point. And I think I'm just going to uh, add a little bit of, of vintage photo to those edges. 
my desk is a mess you guys so i mm, i was actually because when i when i'm anxious <laughs> i like to okay I'm just looking for my for my ink all right here it is uh, so i like to redecorate and so what i did is i redecorated my craft room for like a hundred times since i've moved here now my desk is not in front of a window anymore but in front of a wall which is going to make it easier for me uh, when the weather is you know sunny one moment cloudy the other because how about No, I think it would be too busy. Um, but I'm actually thinking maybe one of these one of these tickets. I quite like this one somewhere here, maybe. Yeah, I do like it. Um, so yeah, so I uh, I think it's going to be easier uh, on these days. When the sun just does not want to cooperate with me because now it won't bother me that much because it is not going to fall to like to my desk like it um like it used to uh, or fall on my desk um, and also i would like to uh, another thing i do when i'm anxious and that helps me a lot is reading i love to read um, and I haven't posted a new booktube video in a while and so um, I really wanted to so in my previous setup in my room filming booktube videos uh, in front of a bookshelf was really um, really difficult because I would have to sit on the floor and have my lamps just moved towards a like a completely different part of my room and uh, so it was difficult and I decided uh, that maybe um, I would try to make it a bit easier on myself and just um, like right now my bookshelf um, is behind my back so I can just pop my camera on here on on the left side I have uh, the window sill uh, the window sill sill and just um, just just film a video <laughs> without worrying too much about about the setup okay so i love i love this so much and i'm actually thinking i'm actually thinking that i like i just said i don't use uh, a lot of mixed media uh, in this journal but I'm thinking maybe if I added a little bit of okay, I need you to stay here <laughs> uh, maybe if I added a little bit of like white gesso I could just write over it maybe this would be nice and I'm still like really tempted to use this butterfly actually I think he looks really nice here just under this flower like that maybe I will do that and I will attach attach him with the stapler again because this is a, a piece of like baking paper or grease proof paper and nothing sticks to it <laughs> no adhesive uh, works with it but I love it for the texture obviously and for the sound it has a really pretty crinkly sound okay I think I think that's that's nice so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this i i will do this off camera because yeah like i said this is the point of those craft therapy videos uh that you don't have to worry about finishing a project so i think i will um i will do this off camera um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this haul i know i did i am so grateful to Perlogy for everything that they sent me thank you so much florence i appreciate 
every single thing. They are so well catered to me and my needs and my crafting style. Um, and I am so excited to use them. So you guys uh, will definitely see uh, see some of those items appear in uh, in more videos and I'm excited about that. Do check the description box for any information about the products, about uh, where you can get them if you are interested. And yeah, thank you so much for spending this hour or it's probably a little over an hour with me today. Um, also, if I don't uh, like uh, speak with you guys um, before, then happy Thanksgiving uh, to everyone who is celebrating it. Um, I will probably have a sale in my uh, in my Etsy shop too for like a whole week um, to kind of... We don't celebrate Thanksgiving here in Poland, but I think it's a beautiful idea to to have a holiday when you can just focus on everything that you are grateful for and everyone that you are grateful for and um, I am grateful for you guys so I am going to uh, like this is going to be my way of, of saying thank you or one of the ways um, and in any case have a wonderful rest of your day have a wonderful week and I will speak to you guys very soon in the next one bye